morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day today. We're starting off. This is video one. We're covering the Royals. There's lots to do, lots to see. Let's jump in and get there, shall we? Let's go. I want to start off this morning with a big thank you. I received a tiara. Now, the person who sent it to me did not give me permission to put her name up, so I'm not going to, but here is a picture of it. It's the tiara on the very bottom. She bought it to help fill out my tiara holder that was sent to me by another subscriber. Uh, it's supposed to be the Fife tiara, I believe she said it was, although it's not an exact copy, but I, it's very sparkly. I love it. It's a tiara. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Next up, remember I told you guys that once you complain to YouTube, things get a little better before they tank? Well, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. This video that I put up a few days ago got 25,000 views, and the same day I put up this video, and it got 47,000 views. Three days later, here are the numbers of my next three videos. 15,000, 10,000. Yeah, so they're, they're still throttling my account. And just as an FYI, I'm still getting messages that my um, like buttons aren't working and, you know, people are watching the, um, you know, the videos and it's not registering that they watched, all kinds of weird stuff. But all you can do, guys, is report it to YouTube. All right, let's move on now. We're going to begin with Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. She was the first person to step foot on London's newest Riverside Vista, and she was welcomed there. This is a new area of land built by Tideway above London's super sewer. That's interesting. Princess Anne was given a tour. There are seven pieces of land that are being built across London as part of this project. And the underground tunnel is now completely built. So she was given a tour of one of the seven pieces. The first one uh, is completed. It's at Putney Embankment, and it was opened last year. Now, the new one that she's at, which is Chelsea Quay, is a new embankment which sits on top of the Thames Tideway Tunnel, which we all know is a major piece of infrastructure that stops all the sewage, which currently pollutes the River Thames every year. Anne was asked to place a brick. I think that's pretty cool. And the Tidewell's chair said that this new space is going to have unbelievable views of the city and it's been very carefully designed to pay tribute to the local environment and it will be a beautiful addition to the city. So uh, the engineers are now completing the final piece of work on the site and uh, they're going to start testing the tunnel soon and it's supposed to be fully operational by 2025. I think that is beyond cool. All right, moving on. Now, on April 10th, Anne went to the Helmshore Mills Textile Museum in Helmshore, and she also went to the village of Trawden. But at the Mills, she was welcomed by more than 100 students from a local primary school. Apparently, it was pouring rain, but the children were so excited to see her that all 152 of them stood there in the rain and they couldn't have cared less. Now this textile museum closed between 2016 and 18, but it's back open and it shows everybody the area's ties to the textile industry. Of course, Anne had to sign the guest book and Heather Davis who is the con Conservation and Collection Manager for Lancashire County Council's Museum Service, took Anne on a tour. She is um, president, by the way, Anne is, of the UK Fashion and Textile Association. How wonderful is that? Mm, love it. All right, so again, when she left there, she then headed on to the next stop. She went to Trawden, where she went to a popular pub there called the Trawden Arms, and she also went to the Forest Community Center there. They are celebrating 10 years in community ownership thanks to the efforts of the trustees, which was led by Chair Stephen Wilcock, who, by the way, got a British Empire Medal last year. Fabulous. Let's move on to Prince William. You know, we haven't heard anything from him since Catherine announced her cancer diagnosis. So he just broke his media silence for the first time. He paid tribute to England's lioness, Rachel Daly. He shared a personal message to his official Instagram account that, you know, he shares with Catherine. 
Earlier that day, she announced her retirement from international football. And so William wrote, as you can see, thank you for so many unforgettable performances with Lioness Rachel Daly. Plenty more goals for Villas now. And he signed off with, you know, the W. That's the way he always signs off his posts. We know that right now, William is with Catherine and the children. They're on Easter holiday break. They're still talking to the children about their diagnosis. And at least he broke the break to pay that tribute to, to Daly, I think is how you say her name. She's played for the Aston Villa since 2022. She put up a really nice Instagram post, by the way, which I'm not going to read. It's just long, but... You know, everybody's going on about the fact that William and Catherine are missing again. They're not missing people. They're taking a break from social media. It's Easter break. The kids are out of school. They're on vacation. She's on her chemo and they're taking, you know, if everybody would just give them a break for a second, okay? In the meantime, Catherine has come out and, and did something which I think is really nice. She sent out a thank you note. I think that's lovely. Now, these cards that they send out are usually sent out by the palace. It's got the palace letterhead on the top. And, you know, they usually send these cards out for birthdays and Christmas and when they get correspondence from royal fans. This particular postcard, however, was left blank, uh, which is unusual. Usually it comes with a picture. But this person got a card that said your thoughtful gesture is very much appreciated. She said that back in January, when they heard about the surgery, not the cancer, but the surgery, she sent a card uh, giving best wishes for healing and abundance of love. And, you know, several months later, you know, you got to know they got a lot of cards. They got a lot of correspondence. They have a lot of stuff they have to dig through. Uh, but I'm glad that she got, a, you know, an acknowledgement. Hmm. All right. Let's move on now. Now, let's move on to Charles. Throughout their 19 years of marriage, Charles has given Camilla lots of jewelry. Well, apparently, Camilla wanted Alice Keppel's jewelry collection, and there's a good reason why. It was a 35,000-pound family heirloom. So in honor of his 19th wedding anniversary, which took, took place, he made it his mission, Charles did, to buy up her entire jewelry collection, not just the uh, tiara. Now, the tiara originally belonged to Camilla's great-grandmother, Alice Keppel, who got it as a gift from King Edward VII, and so the former king purchased it in Paris in the 1900s. It's, it's rubies and diamonds, which mean enduring love. And after all, it was a family heirloom piece. And I think Camilla wanted it to, you know, have it back. It is one of the least valuable tiaras, but of course, it's a family heirloom piece. Good for Charles. Now, speaking about jewelry still, Queen Camilla has a new brooch that we've seen her wearing several times over the past several months. It's made of diamonds and enamel. It's a very interesting looking brooch. It is a diamond square wrapped with green enamel. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Uh, it looks that after she wore it at a palace reception, a royal watcher found out that the brooch had been sold by Wartsky which is a firm that has dealt with the royal family a lot. The set for the brooch was made in the 1890s, and it was made to represent two lives which have been joined together by love. It is a bravura piece of goldsmithing. There you go. I... I can't even imagine how you put that. Anyway, it retailed on their website for 8,000 pounds. And in the week since she's been spotted wearing it, all the advertisement and descriptions and everything have been removed from the firm's website. Huh. Finally, we're going to finish this video. We know that Charles and Camilla just had their 19th wedding anniversary. So they took a break. They went to uh, Aberdeen. They flew from uh, North Holt in Northwest London. This is where they go every year to celebrate their anniversary. This is where they spent their honeymoon. They love it there. Good for them. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and follow me over to video two. Here we go.